When you first get your MIG welder home, there's a few things that you need to do to get it set up and running great. By the end of this video, you're going to know everything you need to know to get your welder set up and running in no time. So we're going to be using my Millermatic 135. I've had this welder for about 20 years and it's worked great the whole time, but I've taken it apart just like it was when it came out of the box and we're going to set the whole thing up from start to finish. So let's start with hooking up the gas regulator. If you're going to be welding with flux core wire, you might not be using shielding gas, so you can skip this step, but it'll be quick. So before you connect it, go ahead and crack the valve on the cylinder open to clean any dust out from in here so it doesn't get caught in your regulator. Next, take your regulator and set it in and go ahead and thread the fitting in. There's no need for Teflon tape here because it already has a brass seal down at the bottom. Then there's a hose and you can take the other end and connect it directly to your machine. Again, you don't need to use Teflon tape there or any other kind of sealant. Next, we'll go ahead and open the hood and connect the MIG gun. So there's two different connections with the same plug right here. One is a gas connection that'll flow through and one is an electrical connection. So you go ahead and slide this till it seats all the way in tight. And different types of welders will be a little different, but the same principles will apply. And then there's a wing nut here that you tighten to secure everything in place. There's also a plug here that will connect for your MIG gun. And again, yours may be a little different than this, but should be the same, same basic idea. Next, let's load the wire in. So you slide the wire on the roll so that the wire unrolls off of the bottom of the roll and then put the nut on. And mine's reverse thread, there's maybe two. Go ahead and snug that up and this whole barrel will roll and keep some tension on the wire. Next, let's go ahead and install our drive roll. It has two different depth grooves for different size wires, so you can turn it over and put it on one way or the other. I'm gonna put this on so that the larger groove for 30 thousandths wire lines up with my uh, wire guide. Next, we'll go ahead and take the wire and after it's been bent around, I'll trim it off so it comes off straight and put it through the wire guide. Now be careful not to let go of the wire because it will spring out and be difficult to pick up. So then you feed your uh, wire through the wire guide here and it'll rest on the drive roll and feed into the liner of Big gun. Right here. After that, drop the tension roller down and loosen the knob up a little bit. We'll set this in just a minute. So go ahead and turn your wire speed up, your voltage down, and turn on the machine and then stretch the cable out so it's pretty straight and pull the trigger to feed. So you keep holding the trigger until the wire feeds out the end. And then take your contact tip and thread it over the wire. Screw it in place. Tighten it up. And install your gas nozzle. And you're ready to clip it and go. Did I mention these pliers are handy? Now to adjust the tension of your drive roll, you just take and you start loose like this after you've fed your wire through. Then you're going to need a scrap block of wood and you bend the end of your wire just a little bit and feed your MIG wire straight into the block of wood. It won't feed out because you'll be slipping on your drive roll. And then as you tighten this down, it will start to feed out and you want to go just until it barely starts to feed and makes about a two inch diameter curl. And then you stop. You don't wanna to go too tight because if you go too tight and your wire gets jammed, it'll start tangling up down in here with what we call a bird's nest. One last thing to check is your polarity. What that means is whether your MIG gun is connected to the positive and your work clamp to the negative or vice versa. 
If you're welding with solid wire, you'll usually want the MIG gun connected to positive because the positive side gets most of the heat. So there's these two connections right here, and you can see I have the positive terminal connected down to my MIG gun and the negative connected to my work clamp. If I were to use flux core wire, you usually want the opposite, so I would just switch these wires on the terminals here. Okay, so now you're all set up ready to weld. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.